Before I started doing engineering, um, when I was at school I didn't really know much about engineering. Then I went on this course for a week and uh, learned a lot about the industry and different options available to me. Uh, while I was at university I obviously learned a lot about engineering and the industry and where I could go and then I decided to start working for an engineering company. The options available for engineers are kind of limitless really. Uh, good salary and you get to move around or stay in your home office depending on basically what you decide. Uh, you can go overseas, say to the Middle East or whatever in the oil and gas industry or you can stay here and do nuclear new build. A lot of people that did the engineering course that I did are in the chemical industry, so a lot of them work for manufacturing companies. I work for a consulting company, but we do a similar thing. We just design the plants that the other people work on. I think the industry has taken a slump, um, but it's starting to pick up again, and a lot of the work that we do here in Britain is for other countries as well as for our own, and the manufacturing is starting to pick up again as well. The route for engineer is, is very structured, um, there's a lot of institutes, the Institute of Chemical Engineers, the Mechanical Institute. Um, to become an engineer you have to have a degree or an apprenticeship or do it through um, other training schemes and then there's a route for becoming chartered so it is quite heavily regulated but you know how you're going to get there and you know what your end goal is and your career prospects from that. I'm doing a lot of management courses at the moment with work and I'm hoping to progress my career to become a leader or a project team leader or something like that. Um, that's for the next stage and then obviously after that we'll have to see. <laughs>